How's it going, everybody? It's Tyler Feaster with Outdoors in the Bluegrass. We've been catching some hogs here lately in them ponds. And guess what time it is? It's time for your Warriors Tackle Supply Subscription Box Review for the month of June. Let's get to it, baby. Warriors Tackle Supply. Get tight lines. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Dance, and you're watching Outdoors in the Bluegrass. Outdoors in the Bluegrass is made possible by Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all for less. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King Lures, tie one on. Digital Effects Wraps, advertise the wrap way. Hoghead Trailer Sales, we're all about trailers. All right, now before I could even review and film about what's going on inside of this month's box, I had to open a bait and use it. Sorry. But it's this Lunker Hunt spinnerbait. I've attached a little paddle tail uh, fluke to the end of it as a nice trailer. Look at the size of the willow blades on this thing, man. And they're silver, which is always my perfect. I would prefer that over gold. But the skirt color scheme for this is kind of troutish. Uh, it's pink, purple, and orange with black specks in it. It's a super cool color combination. And yes, it definitely catches fish. And that came in this month's Warriors Tackle Supply subscription box. And I was stoked. And I mean, I opened it and used that very before I could even get the video done. Now, what else is awesome in this month's box that I'm super happy with is the Matsuo baits that are in here because they are perfectly set up for what we like to use in rivers and creeks. You know we do a lot of rivers and creeks fishing on Outdoors in the Bluegrass. This tiny little lip jerk bait that is black and chrome and silver with that reflection to it is a perfect little river and creek bait. I see white bass being caught with this. So I was happy to see that. And another addition... It's a nice little Matsuo crank. It has the same color scheme, nice reflective, got an orange belly on it instead of the chrome, but it's black and gold as well. Now, I'm super excited for this because this will work those deeper pools because it's a lipped crank. It'll work those deeper pools in those river and creeks that we like to fish, but that's also a good setup for a good crappie crank. So super happy to see those smaller baits in there this month. I was pretty stoked about that. Now, we got another good jerk bait from Warriors Tackle Supply with these Mustad hooks. This thing's really cool because it is orange, yellow, black, and silver patterned. Uh, it's completely different. I really like that color scheme. That's a good, bright color scheme to get you that mid-murky, not-so-clear, not-so-dirty water. That'll get it, baby. Moving on. Now, we got a smaller, thin pencil jerk bait from Warriors Tackle Supply this month with, with the Mustad hooks. This is pretty cool. It's got some transparency to it, and it's got that purple-orange-black pattern. I can definitely see some good fish being caught off that. Um, pulling it right off the bank while they're up feeding during the fall and spring. I'm all over that, baby. I'm all over it. Now, what's really cool is, is we got this really cool popper that is uh, blue and silver reflect reflective from Live Target this month. And it's got the nice, cool um, skirted tail on the end of it, like the old school baits that we grew up with so much. Now, it's got a reflective pattern. It actually looks like there's two or three dying flickered minnows inside of this popper and that's something that live target is well uh, known well for i mean it'll definitely catch some fish it's a popper it's silver it's shiny it makes noise it's got a tail on the end of it so this is awesome for top water fun i can see using this in the pond here soon we're going back to the hog pond where i use that frog and we're going to put this live action to the test that's right baby all right now, we got a Lunker Hunt, and what's really interesting about this is this kind of matches the pattern on the previous bait that we saw from Warriors Tackle Supply just a minute ago with the jerk bait, except they've kind of replaced and toned down the orange and brought in some green. But it is a nice Distress 6F Lunker Hunt bait. Definitely, we'll use it. It's a jerk bait, baby. All right, another small Matsuo bait, and this is, this is the perfect little river or small bass if you're just going out to have fun, this little tiny blue and silver purplish black topped red feathered tailed popper. That's a good little bait, man. That's going to be awesome when we do the river and creek fishing again. I mean, pretty much anything in the water is going to hit that when you pop out across through the, through the riffles in the rivers and creeks. It's a good rivers and creeks bass box this month. I mean, smallmouth and largemouth in the rivers and creeks, you're set up this month. All right, now we're going to get back to the lakes. Now, one of the things that we've gotten in the Warriors Tackle Supply box over the past couple of months is one of their branded Mustad hooked crankbait square bills, the little 2.5. I really like this one. We've really had a lot of the chartreuse, but what they've done with this chartreuse is they've actually darkened it up a little bit, and they put some purple on the top of it and brought it down into that nice uh, 
uh, speckled pattern, you know, kind of going after all the uh, the the fish scale look, and it pe speckles down from green, from purple into green into yellow. This is a really nice bait. I'm a huge square bill fan, especially when the fall comes and the leaves start, you know, the leaves start falling and they sink to the bottom, getting some six foot water where the fish are going over it, and those square bills will do you wonders. That's it for this month's Warriors Tackle Supply box opening for June. July's coming right around the corner. We'll get it to you. I can't wait to see what's in that box. Can you?